simple question why your god a lot accusing his angels to be a bunch of liars very simple and if the angels are not truthful and remember remember here Allah is not accusing one angel and remember here you see in Christianity Satan was a fallen angel in Islam no in Islam they are not none of them so Allah accusing who accusing all the angels and the verse is so clear he said Allah he said to the angels he did not say to an angel he said to the angels, let us okay. Well, so I just so, wanted to answer your no, okay. yeah, yeah before before you start, please. I saw many yes. comments of you in the in the comment section in the previous videos accusing me to be a liar, correct? Yes. Okay, yes. why? Why I'm a liar? Go ahead. Did, did you see my last message to you? You you told the people that Muslims can lie to you, like knowing that they're actually lying. Like that's such a that's such a big lie. Show okay, them the let us let us, let us let us examine this. If you Muslims can lie to us or not, do you want to take a challenge between me and you? No, but I first want to answer your your. Thing okay, about, go. Like, but remind me then before we finish to go to the to the uh, Muslims can lie to us, and there is no question about that. Go ahead. No, what are we talking about now? We're talking about the the verse about um, if they're true chapter or not, two or? yeah chapter two verse number okay. 31 okay yeah so in this verse listen in this verse it's talking about um the absolute truth right because allah is knowledgeable he's all powerful and he knows that which is that which was and that which will be so he's asking them do you have the absolute truth that i know the absolute um reality that is clear to me and it's not asking them about, oh, are you liars or not? So you are kind of really, um, you know, twisting the truth here. It's not asking about the angels. Uh, so do you think the reliable. angels, okay, do you think the angels were doing the same as I'm doing, accusing me now, twisting the truth? Because the angels accuse Adam of mischievement. Allah, he answered them because if you are saying the truth, that Allah is not saying to them, you are liars. Right. That's mean so, Allah, that's so mean Allah, hold on, them, you know, give you time to answer. Right. So let, let me talk, let me talk, let me talk. They don't have the truth that he has. Okay, guys, <laughs> okay, okay, hold on. He, Allah, he is telling them, you don't have the truth, which I have. The absolute truth, it's not asking about, look, listen, it's not asking about whether or not they're, they're lying, they're deliberately um, hiding the truth. Hmm. It's asking them, do you know the absolute truth that I know? Oh. It's not uh, so, um, you know, like so, this makes sense. So should we, should we correct? Not. Okay, should we correct the Quran and add the word absolute truth? Because obviously the Quran is missing no, that you word. You have to understand this from the context, right? Like where, not where? the context says, if you are truthful, if I'm saying to you, okay, I will make a sentence for you. You said the okay. Christian prince is a liar. Give me your proof if you are truthful. What does that mean? I <laughs> what? What? I just, you just say to no, me that the Christian that. prince, you just say the Christian prince is a liar. I say to you, bring your proof if you are truthful. What does that mean? That means I'm accusing you to be a liar, not me. Yeah, but this is two humans talking to each other. Like, doesn't, matter, doesn't matter, doesn't uh, matter. This is the language no, of the human. God your God, truth, Allah, God is hold, hold on. God is two human, two, so human two chicken, two potato, two tomato. This is the language, and the language is no. so clear. Hold on. No. You, it's not you. This, this is the language of the human. Your God, Allah, uh, your God, Allah, is an Arab man. He is using the language of the Arab man. <laughs> Is Allah speaking Arabic here or he is speak, he's speaking a language which you do not know? This is Arabic. So Allah is saying to them, if you are truthful, that means they are not true. Okay, let me make the question simple. Are they truthful or not? I am truthful. What do you mean? Like, are, are they you asking truthful? If... The angels. Are, Allah said to them, if you are truthful, they, are, the... they don't have. This is exactly. not the question. This angels, is not the question. Are they? This is not the question. Are they truthful or not? Are they, are they truthful or not? Mm hmm. In the sense that you're asking, they're truthful, yes. So, they will so, never... Okay, like, guys, they are the truthful, yes. That means Allah is not a tru truthful because no, Allah no, is a challenge in them. I'm, Allah I'm, is a challenge in them. Allah is a... Oh, hold on, hold on. Allah is a challenge in them if you are a truthful. So if the, as long as they are a truthful, that means Allah, he lost. What? Sorry. And what? Sorry. Allah lost the argument. You just said they are truthful. So Allah is a stupid. <laughs> yeah. Allah said to them, if you are truthful, and we discover from, from no, our, our no, friend here. Taking, listen, everybody heard you. Everybody heard you. They are truthful. Be my witness. They are truthful. Did you say they are truthful or not? 
they are truthful in a sense that you're asking. Don't tell me a question. sense. Don't tell me a sense. Are they truthful or not? Don't, don't add word. Don't no. add word in the sense. In a sense. In no, a sense. No, no. Listen, listen, saying... listen, listen. This is not a makeup you use in the front of your mirror to make yourself look pretty. <laughs> this is Quran. So don't make put makeup in the top of it. I'm asking you now. Are they truthful or not? You said this. They are. That means Allah is a stupid because He accused them not to be truthful. That's according to you, sir. Huh? It's uh, you're you're just you're you're translating. Uh, you're trying to understand the verse out of context. I am not understanding the verse as it, the says. Even this one with the context. I mean, listen, listen. Truth. All the chapter Allah, there in the front of us. What out of context? Truth here. I I don't understand don't why. Don't keep you don't, talking. Like, don't keep talking. Hold on. Listen. Listen. So, so I want to make it clear. Are they truthful? Final. Are they truthful or not? Don't add in a sense. Don't have the absolute that Allah this is not the question. The, the absolute truth. That's, what is the garbage? I, I, what absolute? They don't have the absolute garbage. truth, guys. Garbage. They don't have the absolute truth. So, okay, I will go with you just to show everybody how how low IQ those who try to defend the Quran. You just say they uh, don't have the absolute truth. Did you say that or not? Yeah, I just did. Yeah. Okay, that's mean they lie when they say it. Are you going to place somebody will do mischief, man? Because no, they but, don't have the knowledge and the truth that Allah so has. You don't have That's the knowledge. How do you make such an accusation then? That means they are fabricating the news. Are you going to place somebody who will do mischievement? Not my, maybe he will do mischievement. He will do mischievement. He will do bloodshed. They confirm that he will do that. So the angels, you said they are truthful. Allah is saying to them, you don't have the absolute truth according to you. But the angels are making a very dangerous statement that Adam, he will do mischief, not maybe. So they claim that they have the truth about Adam. And Allah, he said to them, if you are truthful, and now because you said what you said, Allah is in trouble because Allah now became the liar. Because the angels, they don't have the absolute truth according to you. And yet they well, are making yes, a statement. So, 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 okay. so the angels, okay, I'll, I'll give you the mic. So the angels, they make the accusation based in the truth they knew or the truth they don't know. The mic is yours. Based on their knowledge that they, clearly their knowledge, if you scroll down and look at the, the next verse, uh -huh. verse 32, it tells them that they don't have the knowledge that he has. So that's basically what he's getting at. I mean, if okay. you can read okay. the... Okay, okay, no, first, first of all, first, find, hold, on, find, first, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, hold on, no. You see here the angels, after Allah, he get them busted, he told them, okay, tell me the names of those things if you are truthful. So Allah, he put the conditions. If you right. are really truthful, then tell me the names yeah, of those things. Show them that they okay. really don't know the, the truth that Thank you, has. guys. He showed them. Did you hear her? He showed them that they do not know the truth. So they are not truthful when they made accusation to Adam, correct? No, listen, uh, listen. First of all, first of all, you are not allowed to explain the Quran or Islam because you are a female, and according to your prophet, you are half a brain. But I, I believe in Allah. I'm, yeah, I'm you, Allah don't Allah. Are, you, you don't believe in Allah. You are, you are, you don't believe in Allah. You, you are, you are, you are not a believer in Allah, and I can prove it. Do you want me to prove it to you? <laughs> Okay, prove it to okay. me how. When you called me, you said what? You said Muslims are not allowed to lie, correct? Yeah, absolutely. Why don't you why don't you show the hadith that I just sent? I sent you okay. when you were telling but that lie. But your prophet was talking about lying to Muslims, not lying to us. Let us go to the Quran. The Quran says you First, have no, no. you I have to lie. Hold on, hold on. Let us give a proof. Let us give a proof. Let us give a proof. Don't talk too much. Just wait. I will give my proof and I will put your verse in your hadith in front of everybody. Everybody will laugh. Deal? Your right. proof versus my proof. Okay. So this is the Quran. And I'm not going to explain I'm not going to I'm not going to explain the Quran up to me because you Muslims you lie always saying oh this is your interpretation this is your explanation correct all right so here this is the Quran and this is Tafsir Ibn Abbas and this is the cousin of your prophet I want you to read for us what is in the screen please go ahead chapter 3 verse number 28 hmm, it's going to come <clears throat> What, in the meantime, why don't you put the hadith I sent you on the Yeah, screen? we will put the hadith, no problem. Give me the hadith num number the, or the text. I, 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 
sent it that day while you're saying that lie. Uh, that, that day, I sent it again. You know, I have a million uh, texts coming to me. No, no, just check your messages, sir. Okay, I just sent... just give me the hadith now. What you will do? What you will do is just send it to me. I will put it on the screen. I, I'm on my phone, so it's hard. Uh, okay, I, after I... you finish, I will put it for you, and we will laugh at it. Because here, if Allah, a prophet, he is saying you don't lie. He is speaking not to lie to Muslims, but you can lie as much as you want to non-Muslims. Read it. It says here that the one who take the Christians, who is sincere, to take them as a friend, and he seek might and honor by taking the hypocrites, the disbelievers, as a friends, has no connection to Allah, has no honor or mercy or protection from Allah, which means Muslim will kill him. Very, very filthy cult gang religion. But guard yourself against them save yourself from them take, take it as it way security saving yourself from them by speaking in a friendly way toward them while your heart is like this can muslim lie to us non-muslims yes it says it clearly this believers if you take them as a friend muslims will kill you they will take your wife they will rape her if you are doing it as security, like now this woman, she live in the West. Let us say she live in America. She go to take a passport. She swear, I'm bear arm. I'm going to bear arm to defend my country, USA. Blah 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 blah. And I pledge for that. She is allowed to lie as security because if she say the truth that the Christians and the Jews and the Kuffar and the Buddhists and the Hindus, all of them and the atheists are our enemy. We have to kill them all. Then they, she will, she will go to jail. So she can lie in Islam as long she is speaking to non-Muslim and the verse in the front of you. Go ahead. Um, mm. Yeah, no, I don't see any of the stuff you just said though. Like I, I read it? it. Yeah, you don't see it. Okay, take take a hike, guys. Guys, she don't see it. I just read it, and she don't see it. I just read the whole thing. I put it in the screen. She don't see the stuff I am saying. She cannot see it. Where? Where? Uh, it's not there. <laughs> Can you see it or you cannot see it? Can you see it? I don't, have, I don't have time for kids. I don't have time for kids. Can you see it or you cannot? No, I see it. I okay, see so what you are saying you can't see it. Does it say you can speak to them in a friendly way while your heart is like this? Does it say that or not? You can, you can what? You can, you can what? You can speak to them in a friendly way while uh, your heart is like this. So in the word, you are friendly. Yeah, I see that. I see that. Okay. Is there some... Uh -huh, uh -huh. So you come to a Christian person or a Hindu person or an atheist person and you say, oh, we are friends. Yeah, but th does it not say saving yourselves from them? Right? Exactly. So, so there, saving yourself. Some, okay, so hold on. No, take it. Line. Listen, listen. Take it as. No, listen, listen. Those people, they want to take you as a friend. Saving yourself from what? Oh. They want to take you as a friend. The Quran saying, don't take them as a friend. They are not enemy. They don't want to kill you. They are. The Quran is warning you. Hold on. Hold on. Stop being a, stop, stop being a balbula. The Quran saying, don't take them as a friend. So those are not enemy for sure because they want to take you as a friend. So, but you can take them as a friend, as if it's security, speaking to them in a friendly way, which means as security, as if you are under a threat, but it does not, and it's not because they want to take you as a friend. If I want to take you as a friend, uh, if I want to take you as a friend, obviously I'm not going to kill you because I want to take you as a friend. Quran forbidding you from that in order saying, okay, you can't take him as a friend if you mean it, but if you are lying to them, you can do that. That's not my understanding, but I Who don't care about like, your understanding. Here, like, this is the interpretation. This is the interpretation yourself. made by the cousin of Muhammad, the highest scholar of Islam in Abbas. Yeah, but the fact that it says in that same thing you're showing me it does say that saving yourselves from them. Okay, no, as, 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 so it wear you save as, 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 as it wears security, saving yourself from them. Yeah, because if you say the truth, if you say, if a Muslim he live in USA and he say, hey, we love to kill all the American, then he will be in trouble. So this is an act of security. The only time you can say it, like we are friends, if you are weak, 
This is why it's called taqiyya, protection. So if you are weak and you are not the superpower, if I live in Saudi Arabia, a Muslim will say to me, yeah, we hate you, we wanna kill you, etc." But they will not dare to say that the same thing if they are not in Saudi Arabia. So when the Muslims are supreme in, the, in, the, in, the, in, in control, then they will say to you the truth. Yeah, Islam wanna kill everybody. Did your prophet say, I've been ordered to kill all mankind until they convert to Islam, yes or no? Kill all mankind? Yes, all mankind, with no exception. No, I've never heard of this. Okay, let's see. Because we need to connect the dots. And by the way, everybody... You haven't confused me with this one, because if it says saving yourself... Okay, hold on, yeah, saving yourself, yeah, saving yourself. If Muhammad is the aggression, how he can save ourselves? So Muslims, this is when Muslims are weak, in a weak, they cannot have, they have no control, they are allowed to lie. If they are living in a Muslim-controlled country, they will not say that to us. They will say, you are you are najis, you are filthy, they will spit at us. Go and read the Pact of Amr and see what they are allowed to do to the Christian and the Jews, according to the Pact of Amr. Now, read with me. This is your prophet saying, if you, I've been ordered to kill all the people, commanded to kill all people. Here it says, uqatil, which means fight to kill, not just fight. And they testify there's no God but Allah and the Muhammad is his messenger. And they have to perform the salat, which means they have to pray, and they have to pay the money. And then, and only then, they will save their, they will have their protection of their blood and their property from me. Muhammad is a gang. Does it say that? Yeah, no, I, I am reading it, yeah. Mm. So what does that mean? Me, Muhammad is a gang member. He's like Holako. He want to control all the earth until they believe in him. You believe in me or you die. Not him, Allah. But no, it yeah, says I, him. No, he associate. Muslims are mushrikeen. They associate, and Muhammad himself, he associate his name with the name of God, his God. He doesn't say, if you believe in Allah, and you, you pray to Allah, no. You have to believe in Allah and to believe in me. And then, and only then, I have, I will give you protection from being killed. Correct? Mm. Yeah. Hmm. What about do you do you like do you like uh, to bring somebody? What do you what do you think if you saw somebody in a chain around his neck? What? Sorry. What do you think about somebody like? You still haven't shown them the hadith. Oh, I will show them the hadith. Here, I, I will go. No, I, I promise you, I will show them the hadith. But your hadith is not valid, my friend, sure. because because well, okay, let, let, let me show you your hadith, and everybody will laugh at your hadith. Oh, actually, I had something okay, to ask. Okay, don't change the topic. Don't right. change the topic. Don't change the topic. Here we go. I will show the hadith. Here we go. This is your hadith. Huh? Yes. Okay. He Here we go. Thank you. Hmm. This is the hate you gave me. Correct? Uh, no, I don't see it. One second. It hmm. takes time to. The major sin as are associating other with Allah, disobeying yep. parents, killing soul, murder, and swearing a false knowingly, false oath knowingly. Yeah. Correct? Okay. Yep. Well, this yep. you, you just gave me a great tool to make your Muhammad a joke for the coming century. Let us read this one. Okay, I, I will change my topic just for you. Guys, did she say that, that she is the one who provide me this? That the biggest sin yes. is giving a false oath? So you cannot, so you cannot take hold a false on, oath. Hold on, hold on, because hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You see, you see, your prophet is the biggest joke ever. Because uh, if... If, Actually, the, if, the biggest, if, if the biggest, if, if the biggest, if the biggest sin, don't talk when I'm talking, I will give you the mic. Okay, if, okay. Okay, if yes. the biggest sin is you take a false oath, correct? So how the Quran says Allah will not take you accountable in chapter 2, verse number 2 to okay. 5. Okay, yes, great. Mm -hmm. Thank you for asking me that. Mm -hmm. So there it's, it's talking about an oath that you took out of um, haste. Or being foolish, like it's talking about a foolish oath. It's not about, you know, a foolish lying oath. straight okay. up. It's, it's well, not lying. Let us, let it, okay, yeah. guys, a foolish oath is to take an oath you don't mean. That's when you are lying. This is a foolish oath anyway. No. So look at this. The biggest sin, the biggest sin is to take a false oath. The, the biggest sin. Okay, so hold on, hold on, hold on. Give me an example of a foolish oath. Go ahead. A foolish oath? Uh -huh. Um... Yeah, for example, if I have some habits, you know, and I say, you know, I'm ne I'm never going to do this, and I swear this by the name of Allah, okay. that I will never do it, mm -hmm. and then I fail and do it, okay. then, you know, this is an oath that I 
I wanted to keep, I sincerely wanted to keep, but uh -huh. I failed. That's the sort of foolish oath. Okay. And another foolish oath from the Bible, let me let me get that for hmm. you. Judges uh, chapter 11, uh, hmm. <laughs> verses 31 to 37. Mm -hmm. It talks about a man who goes to war, right? Mm -hmm. And he, he, he makes an oath to your God that mm -hmm. he's going to sacrifice the first thing that comes out of his house mm -hmm. if he wins the war. Mm -hmm. And then he happens to win the war. Mm -hmm. So when he comes back home, his daughter comes out to greet him and he's distraught. He's really upset that it's mm -hmm. his daughter. Mm -hmm. And he ends up sacrificing her. He ends up burning her. Mm -hmm. What barbarism is this? You know, like if this man was a Muslim, he wouldn't have to go through all that. Okay. He would have just, no, just, to, just to show you that you, you, just to show you his hypocrisy. First, the and example, hold on, hold on, hold on. The example you showed me, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Shut up your mouth. Let me talk. The example you showed me in the Bible proved that the Jews are very decent people because even it is her daughter just, you are saying it's a barbaric right you are saying it's a barbaric it's it is it is barbaric. okay it yeah, is okay, it, okay hold on hold on hold on just be don't be stupid like Aisha listen so the guy he is so decent to the point when he take an oath even it was her his daughter look how decent he is you want to say barbaric you want to say whatever this is your this is your opinion but at the end of the day the guy he keep his promise to God that's mean they are very very faithful with their oath. Muslims, they can take oath left and right. And they don't mean it. They don't mean it. Anything they say, it's a lie. We're just again speaking about lies. Muslims, they take an oath and they lie about it. Muhammad, he gave, he took an oath that he will not sleep with Mary the cop. Correct? Uh, wait, what? Sorry. Wait, Muhammad, he took an oath to his wives Aisha and Hafsa that he will never take, he will never sleep with Mary the cop, his slave. And then two days after, he got horny. He want to sleep with her. And then Allah, he sent him a verse saying, oh, Allah will not, uh, you know, Allah will release you from your oath. What kind of religion this religion is? So you just gave me an example. A man from the Bible, he is making a promise to God. Anything. He will see the first thing he will see. He was expecting a goat. He was expecting a horse. He was expecting something like that. The first thing he see when he go out of his door, he will slaughter as a sacrifice for the victory. It was his daughter, and this is why it was a foolish oath, right? But still he is not a bad person, for he is a decent person keeping the oath to God. This is how much serious this oath is. But for Muslims, they can take oath as much as they want. They can so swear to the right. Hold on. Yes. Because, because Allah is Satan, he don't care for your oath. You can use the name of your God in vain, but in Christianity, you cannot. Read me carefully. Read carefully. Allah does not take you to, take you to task for your oath which is made unintentionally but he does take you to ta to, ta to task for the oath you ratify i don't know what the translation here is saying so listen so allah as long as you are taking an oath you don't mean it <laughs> it's okay <laughs> but all liars but all liars they don't the all liars they don't mean their oath have you ever have ever heard of an of a liar have you ever heard of a liar he mean his oath so islam is created for lies let, let me ask you can the man lie to his wife in islam wait sorry again can so, the man see. can the man lie to his wife uh no i i would i would think not are you sure <laughs> yeah okay what if this is true that you can lie lie to your wife knowing that you're lying what are you asking that a man can lie to his wife knowing yes. that he's lying or yes what, what yes there you ask yes yeah, no, I don't think that's allowed. It couldn't be. No, I'm asking you, is it is it uh, is it good or satanic to lie to your wife? A man lying to his wife? It's bad. It's bad. It's bad. So is it satanic? Yeah. Is it what? Is it satanic to lie to your wife? I, I think that's a bit extreme. I mean, people lie for whatever reason, but, you know, like lying okay. is bad. Yes. So it's an extreme satanic. Yeah. So it's an extreme satanic. Thank you. No, no, not satanic. I didn't. Say so it's uh, so. Isn't it lies coming from shaitan? Is lies coming from Allah or from who? It is, but humans are fallible too. So like, no, no, no just this is not a question. When, when somebody he lie, when somebody he lie, is that a good from Allah or bad from Satan? 
it's bad. From Satan, correct? Yeah, lies are... Okay, yeah. thank you. Here we go. It's not lawful to lie except in three courses. Something the man he tell his wife to please her. <laughs> uh, I don't, I don't <laughs> and I can show you the fatwa where a woman she she is an American she married a Jordanian guy. She asked him, my husband he didn't lie to me. He is married in Jordan, and he told me always he is. I am the only one he is married to. He said to her, first you have no right to ask him why he is if he is married or not. Secondly, he, it's okay for him to lie to you. And you say, this is satanic. So now your husband, he will marry a second wife. Uh, and you ask him, you ask him. I don't have to some, uh, something the man tells his wife to please her. Uh. So, yeah, I mean, there are certain lies that, that serve a, a good purpose. You know? Ah, a good purpose. So your husband marry a second wife. It's okay. And that's a good purpose. You ask him, are you cheating on me? He please you. He don't want to no, make you angry. That's a bad thing. Like, I guess this, uh, this had these, um, uh, you said, you said, you said, you said, right? you, it's you, not very you clear, said, but... you said, and everybody heard you that lies is from the devil. It's satanic. And doesn't right. matter what kind of lies. No, and now we have, I, now we have, we have a family. This is this is will impact the family structure. If the women are allowed to lie, by, by the way, not only the man is allowed to lie to his, to his to his wife. The woman in Islam, she is allowed to lie to her husband. So a man he can lie, the women she can lie, and Muslims wait, are a bunch of liars. Wait, is that if, wait, what are you showing me? I just saw it on the screen. There you go. It's in the front of me. The narration in Muslim added, this is Sahih. Oh, okay. Uh, you know, uh, so the, the Prophet, he answered her, uh, you know, like, uh, you know, you are, you are allowed to lie. Uh, in the man, he, he speak to his wife and the wife speaking to her husband. Let me show you the exact uh, reference. Do you speak Arabic? I no, that, I don't. Oh, okay. Uh, let me let me try to find the hadith in English. Yeah, but for the hadith that you showed me earlier, it's it's talking about lying to please. So I I don't see any problem with that. Actually. Yeah. So your husband he can keep lying to you to please you. Where have you been? Are you like have you been with a woman? He was saying no, I was with my friends. He is pleasing you. Lies is from the devil is satanic and family cannot be built based on liars. What kind yeah, of okay. what kind of family this family will be? So now your husband lied to you and you lie to your husband, and then the children they lie to the father and the children they lie to their mother because the whole family are a bunch of liars. Welcome to Islam. Right? Welcome to Islam. This is what Islam is about. Uh, let us yeah, see. anyway, I, I just wanted to answer your question about the truthful stuff, you know, like, uh, yeah, but okay, but hold, I, before before you go, before you go, before you go, so are they truthful or not? What, sorry, are, are they truthful or not? We want to get the final answer from you. Was the angel truthful or not? The angels don't have the absolute truth and that's what allah here we go they have to add the word absolute they are correcting the quran he, did allah he said to them I'm you don't have the absolute truth when allah, when okay absolute did the angel accuse adam did the angel accuse adam that he would do mischief okay listen listen allah he ordered okay just to get you busted in two seconds did allah order the angels as a penalty for what they did to bow down to adam Yeah, yeah, I think. Okay, yeah. so why he ordered him to bow down? Because it was a penalty. Why? Because they accused Adam to do mischievement. Correct? Sorry? Because they accused Adam he would do mischievement, Allah, he ordered him to bow down to Adam. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She just said, mm -hmm. I mean, what a bunch of kids. No, don't no, call, no, don't I... call me again. Don't call me again. Mm -hmm. You just get yourself busted. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, because they accuse him falsely then. I mean, all this argument, she destroyed it by, uh -huh. where are these kids coming from? Let your parents go talk to me. 
Let your four husbands speak to me who they are lying to you. And by the way, if your husband come home and he asked you, did you call somebody when I am not home? You can please him and say no. Did you talk to Christian Prince? Somebody said to me that you were talking to him life on air. How many times I said to you, don't do that? No, I swear by Allah, I did not do that. <laughs> so Allah, he ordered them to bow down to Adam. And she answered, I ask, did Allah order them to bow down as a penalty because they accused Adam to do mischievement? She said, mm-hmm. This is the reason. We have a Muslim, he's a male. Male can do better, maybe. Let us see. Let us see, be sure first, he's a Muslim.